sound is rolling. Honestly, I never thought I would have the patience to get to this point. When I started playing, I was about 11, and I'll be honest, I was really only doing it to get out of playing rec sports for a whole damn summer. I started taking lessons from Ron Hurst, who actually is a drummer for Steppenwolf, the 60s rock group that wrote Magic Carpet Ride and Born to be Wild. I was pretty nervous at first to be getting lessons from a certified 60s rocker, but after meeting him, he was incredibly easy to talk to and to get to know. He taught me a lot about patience and where it could get you. It was stop and go at first. Sometimes it seemed like there were not enough hours in the day for me to practice. My neighbors really loved that. Other times though, I would get so frustrated at learning a new style, I would just want to quit altogether. After a while of practicing notes and basic rudiments, I felt like I hadn't really found my style and I started to drift out of it. That was until me and some of my childhood friends started up a band. There was Matt, bassist and lead singer, Andrew, rhythm guitar and backup singer, and Mason playing on lead guitar. I felt like I might have found the kind of music I really wanted to play. Okay. Maybe metal wasn't my style. At all. So we were a pretty terrible band. When we practiced, it was more or less us just starting a beat and having no direction to go with it. Not a great way to write songs, but that was when I started to improvise most of my beats. It's been a good and bad way to keep drumming. While I love to improvise most of what I play, it can lead to some pretty bad moments. When I trip up, I usually try to borrow from my idols, John Bonham and Neil Peart. Both of these guys created such unique and varied beats. It's what I try to aspire to whenever I play. While I'm definitely not as organized of a drummer as they were, my spontaneous playing puts me into a meditative state that helps to calm me from the stresses of life. And it's a great workout too.